Players TV in the Rhaegar Stadium, home of Belka Town. We're joined tonight by the chairman Ian Woodward, who's very kindly agreed to answer some questions from the fans. So let's go and meet him now. Hi Ian, thanks for your time today. Good evening Chris, are you alright? Yes, thanks It's a you. pleasure. Yep, sir. Take a seat. Cheers. Ian, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, first question, uh, what attracted you to uh, become part of Belper Town Football Club? Um, it's, a, it's a combination of um, a lot of things really that all just came to, together. Um, I've been a few times uh, to Belper, <coughs> to sportsmen's dinners, um, I, some good friends of Brian's Builders Merchants, so I used to get invited to them with those when they were match sponsors. I used to come to the game with them in the sponsors' lounge. Um, yeah, and I enjoyed I enjoyed coming. So um, it was a sort of you know that was a, and then there was a catalogue of things then. Um, and then actually I came, but I sponsored the game myself um, against Long Eaton United. The ball played in the cup, um, so I had the sponsors' lounge then, and um, it was all great. I mean, Belper won on penalties, but. There's sort of just felt that I thought this is a great place, you know what I mean? But it needs, it just needs bright, you know, no disrespect to Belper, you know what I mean? But that's just our thoughts as we were chatting with the family in the um, sponsors' lounge. And then a couple of days later, Andy Carter called me and said, um, Would I be interested in joining the um, board at Belper? And I thought, Well, you know, that's, yeah, okay, I'll, th I'll think about it. Um, And then, like I say, I've just not long finished playing football myself, so you miss the football side of it. Um, I was seen to get older at Derby County, so I was getting a bit disillusioned with professional football anyway. So I thought, okay, I'll give it a chance, and um, I sort of thought I'll take the challenge on, and we'll we'll see what we can do there. And uh, the rest is history, as they say. So, What's so, your uh, proudest moment as uh, chairman so far? Uh, well, there's another list as well. I mean, that could go on forever. Um, bar the obvious, the promotion. Um, I think one of the best ones, one of the, one of the good ones, uh, when I took, took Belpatan to a tour of Northern Ireland and um, took them to my family, introduced the club themselves to my family in Northern Ireland, Uh, but yeah, it's got to be, I mean, we've got Knox County, another proud moment. Um, but of course, the promotion, that's what we've all worked for for four years. Um, so that that will, that is sort of the proudest moment. But in a few weeks' time, I think that will be overtaken when we actually go to the uh, league presentation night and we actually stand on stage and actually get presented with a trophy in front of all the other teams in the NPL, which will, I think that will again be another proudest moment, so... Looking forward to that. What are the um, immediate and future plans for the development of both, both the club and, and the ground here at uh, the Rhaegar Stadium? Um, well, as you can see as well, we've, that's been a continuous um, sort of progression. Uh, we've still got, um, this for this season, we've got plans for new turnstiles, new dugouts. Uh, there's new toilets going on the other side, the scoreboard side. Um, and then, of course, we've got the planning permission in to sort of take the roof off a section of the existing building and go upstairs for corporate academy. Um, so it's continuous. It's just a continuous thing to um, to construct a ground that's fit for any league, really. That's that's the aim. So there's plenty to do still. <laughs> plenty. Uh, where do you see the club in uh, five years? Five years? Um, <clears throat> I think competing. I think competing at the highest level. I mean, Belper deserves to be at the highest level and I think we've got to, we've got to just keep going and Belper will find its level and as long as we do everything we can to play at the highest level possible, whatever that level is, um, and that's where we want to be. There's no point in... You know, we've, got to, we've got to sort of consolidate for a bit, but we've just got to keep going and if the circumstances like this season take us to promotion, then we take that challenge on the chin and we carry on. So. Um, so that, that question is the highest level possible, and whatever that is. Thinking about next season in the Northern Premier League Premier Division, uh, are there any grounds or, or clubs in particular that you're looking forward to uh, as, as, a, as a challenge? Um, well, yeah, I mean, funny enough, I've been Googling all the uh, grounds we've been, we've been going to. Uh, so you've got FC United, very nice, that's a very nice ground. Um, you've got um, South Shields, of course, I'm a professional 
they, they're full time. So we'll see how they do it. But I'm looking forward to just getting round and seeing how all the clubs do it and see if we can improve uh, on the way we do things. So yeah, it's, 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 they're all going to be uh, fun. I think the fun one is going to be Whitby Town. We're all going to be on fish and chips on the beach, so that'll be all right. Yeah. It'll be a good weekend. What lessons do you think you've learned uh, about running a semi-professional uh, football club during your time here? Uh, well, there's a there's a question. Um, I think you just not not take things for granted. Um, I think players, um, it's like from the professional game, from the Premier League down to our level or any level, um, they all behave the same. <clears throat> and I think myself, learning wise, I've got to not to take too many things to heart. You know, we, we give everything a player wants or whatever they want. If they, if they request it and we agree it, we'll stick to it. Um, players have their own agendas. Sometimes they move on, which they will move on and they move on and they have different things. So I think what I've got to learn is um, just taking one step at a time. And if a player decides to move on or some of changes then I just have to take it and that's that's what it is. You know, there's no point in getting upset about it and just learn that people have their own ideas and their own their own methods of doing things, so that's 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 that. Uh, following on from the um, Chairman's Recognition Award at the awards night which you presented to the Belkatown Operations Committee, how important is the, the role that volunteers play in a in a running a football club like this? Well if if we didn't have volunteers the the club wouldn't exist. It's as simple as that. You know what I mean? It's it's an, it's also as how far you want to take it. You know what I mean? If 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 we're um, we're trying to provide and and create a professional club, the way we run things, the way we do things, the way we present ourselves, <clears throat> and for those things to happen, you've got to have people in the background. You know, there's there's Dave Laughlin who runs the accounts. He, he runs the the seven day a week. There's the four G. There's, you know, there's running the business, there's the function room, then you've got you, you, you know, you guys, the media, uh, the, the, even the people serving the teas and coffees on the match day, boardroom. It's all, it's all volunteers, and you just couldn't do it. You just, you, you, you honestly could not run a club like this. But that, if, if you didn't, if you didn't have volunteers, you'd start paying people. You couldn't afford to pay people, so the standards would drop because you haven't got enough staff, and we couldn't do. We couldn't have the ambitions we've got without the volunteers, and credit to every single one of them. Really, it's 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 they're they're they're, they're a godsend on a match day. Finally, if you could use three words to describe Belpertown Football Club, what uh, would they be? Um, progressive is one of them. Um, we're a progressive club. We're not gonna <clears throat> we're not gonna stop and just because we've got promotion, we're gonna keep going. We want to progress into every level we can. Um, professionalism, I think with the way we conduct ourselves and the way we um, sort of behave, we're very professional. That's what, I, that's what I've tried to bring into the club, professionalism. And then um, I think the last one is uh, inclusion. I think we include, um, we try and include everyone. You know, the kiddies football, the junior football, the ladies football. We try and include the fans. Um, everyone who works here, the community, so I think we're an inclusive club that um, can only get better. So that, they're the three really thick points that I'm keen to keep going. Right. Thanks for your time, Ian. Okay, thank you very much. Cheers.